there. I hope that you've enjoyed the opening to this second drone video that um, I've been working on with uh, Dennis and uh, that we've got a special treat including his parents uh, in this video. Um, this particular video we're uh, highlighting more of the altitude and experimenting going up to 300 feet. What you're seeing here is uh, looking down uh, 115 heading south towards Davidson, North Carolina. Now we're looking southwest towards Lake Norman and now due west uh, to our neighbor across the road from us uh, and behind his property over there and halfway in the distance is uh, the Cove Church. Um, and then we're going to pan around here to the right looking more toward the northwest in the distance. Uh, that is the Lowe's headquarters and closer in the foreground that is Pine Lake Prep just up the road from us a short distance. And then down in the bottom right corner of your screen uh, you see the mobile home park um, that is behind our property. So this is the first part of this, about the first half of this video is really focusing on the view from 300 feet above where we live and the surrounding area. And as you can see, it, it, you can see quite a, quite a good distance. Um, maybe on some future videos we will do some uh, more experimenting, maybe going to 400, 500 feet, just testing it gradually. Um, and also please bear with us as we um, you know, try out all the video editing capabilities that's at our disposal. As you can see now, we're uh, starting to descend in altitude with this um, particular video. And the second half of the video is going to focus more on uh, low altitude flying and trying to gather close-ups and trying some other effects. So I'm going to take a break here, uh, allow you to have some more music in the background, and then I'll come back and do some more narration. Hello again. So as you can see um, in this part of the video, uh, we have zoomed in quite close to where we are on the ground and that we're not very far up in the air. Um, during this section of the video, what we were doing is we're trying to set up what's called the automated uh, droney mode, which is similar to taking a selfie um, still photo in camera mode. Um, so that's what they call it when you use a drone to take the picture yourself. So now the automated part, it's set and as you can see the, the drone is zooming away steadily from us 
and it's going to go out 300 feet from us, keeping its camera focused on our location the entire time. When it reaches the threshold of 300 feet, it stops for a few seconds, and then as you're about to see, it's going to slowly zoom back in toward us. Um, so this is one of four um, automated uh, functions that the drone video, uh, the drone itself has. Um, in our first video, um, if you've seen that, we tested the orbit mode where you can have the drone do a circle around you as the subject or whichever subject you choose. Um, as you can see, when we saw that the drone um, was coming back, uh, Philip and I decided to come out into the open area and um, see how comfortably close we could get to the drone as it approached us. Um, and so uh, if you're thinking about getting a drone, um, many of them uh, have some automated features to help you with learning how to fly them, uh, getting used to the controls. As you can see right here, we're experimenting with panning left and right, uh, moving the drone forward and backwards, side to side, trying not to run into trees or other obstacles. Um, and in here, um, what I'm attempting to do is get the drone down to uh, more of an eye level with us, but still hovering above the ground. Um, and then right here, I'm going to walk uh, fairly close to where you can see me clearly and you can see Philip in the background. He is um, cautiously stepping forward as well. And here I'm about to pass the drone between us. Pretty close. And now, I'm, uh, and, and right now the camera is pointing down toward the ground. Um, so you do have controls on the controller itself that allow you to not only fly the drone but to also tilt the camera to various angles depending on what you're trying to capture. Uh, so you can see we're, we're pretty close to the ground maybe six or seven feet above the ground um, and uh, what I'm trying to do toward the end of this video is get the drone in position to land on the driveway as opposed to grass. Um, if the grass is short enough, not a big deal. If the grass has a little bit of height to it, um, the blades on the propellers can almost act like a lawnmower and cut the top part of the grass off, but not a big deal on this particular day. Um, and over here you see uh, Peggy and Dennis enjoying the shade on this hot summer day. Um, can't tell if you can really see our cats enjoying the, the shade of the grove there. And now here I am attempting to um, shut the recording device off before I actually land the drone. Um, and as, if you remember, we started the video already in, 